Hawkins here with Chicken Hawk Farmstead. And this is part two to my little uh, makeshift incubator. My incubator, the heating element burned out. I had everything ready to go. And uh, there'll be a link to part one to show it a little bit better. But basically just threw, I think it was about a 15 watt fluorescent bulb in there. in the incubator. And said, let's see what happens. Because I was going on vacation the next day. And I'll show you the results real quick. Alright, this thing's going to be hard to see through. I don't know if I'll be able to get a shot even of the thermometer. Right now we're running around, right around 90. And humidity is around 80 in there. And check this out. Look at that. That is a live quail right there. And over here by the bulb we got another one. We got three over there. So, so far we've had five actually hatch out. Uh, I don't remember the exact egg count. I'll have to look again. At the area, you can check part one out. But yeah, we have five successful hatching. And actually, that green egg right there is one of the ones. Wait, did it, I think it just moved. It's one of the ones that uh, I was candling and actually was showing some good signs, but it hasn't hatched yet. They're going to have uh, until tomorrow before I pull start pulling these guys out. Because yeah, this little guy here just came out. But yeah, just that light bulb in there. And between that. And I did notice once I turned the turn the pulled the egg turner out, it did start running a little bit cooler than it had been. Uh, I was fluctuating anywhere between 95 to it got up to 103 at some points. So I didn't think we were gonna have any valuable quail, but uh, looks like they might not be as fragile as they say. Granted, my hatch rate's not very high, but hey, I'll take it for uh, throwing them in here with the turner and just going with it. So. All right, there's my follow-up. Um, yeah, I'll wait another day before I post this, and we'll see if we get any more and pull them out. Here's my final follow-up. Uh, here's the temperature gauge. 74 with a high of 103.6. There's the humidity. Now, the, hum the lows, they're going to be, you can adjust those because, you know, when I first put it in and reset it before I, it got closed up. But you can see the highs. Uh, we did have... A few that peeped or whatever it's called I think it's peeped I think they're kind of like three or four but they didn't make it out of the egg and they passed so that's sad uh, I had one that did pass after it hatched not sure exactly why and then over here he's not a chick <laughs> here we go we got him on the brooder now so we did successfully get five out of there uh, you have to go back and watch the first one to see exactly uh, uh how much uh how many i put in there i think it was around I'd say like 25 or 30 and i mean that's not bad really seeing that what i had to work with so sometimes even uh things don't go as planned you can still get a decent result or some kind of result out of them but all right well that's it i hope you enjoyed and if you got a old brooder that the heating element burned out and you got a light bulb give it a shot if you got the extra eggs in time that's it have a good one